Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. In this lab, we will take another look at the port security function of Cisco switches. Specifically, we will learn about the sticky MAC address function. The sticky MAC address function of port security saves secure MAC addresses into the switch configuration when they are dynamically learned on a switch port with port security enabled. Try to complete this lab yourself first, then continue watching this video if you have trouble, or watch it after to check your solution. There are a few more steps in this lab than in my previous labs, but these are all pretty short steps. Step 1 is to enable port security on the switch ports connected to end hosts. Let's go on switch 1 first. Enable conf t interface f02. Remember, we have to set the interface as an access port first, so switch port mode access. Switch port port security. That's all for switch 1. Now let's do the same on switch 2. Enable conf t interface f02 switch port mode access. Switch port port security. Now let's go straight into step 2 which is to ping from PC1 to PC2 to generate traffic between them. Remember that no traffic is passing between these PCs by default, so the switches won't learn the MAC addresses of the PCs until we send some traffic between them. I'll ping from PC1. Ping 192.168.1.12. There we go. Step three is to view the secure MAC addresses on switch one. I'll go back to switch one. End. Now I'll use the command show port security address as in the previous lab. As you can see, there is a dynamically learned secure MAC address on the fast ethernet 02 interface, which must be PC ones. Step four says to check the configuration of switch ones fast ethernet 02 interface in the running configuration. Show running config. Here it is. As you can see, there are only the two commands we entered before, switch port mode access and switch port port security. Remember this as we will contrast it with the sticky MAC address configuration later. Step five is to save the running config and reload the switch. I'll use write to save, then reload. Okay, now the switch is reloading. Step six is to view the secure MAC addresses on switch one again. Do you think PC1's MAC address will still be saved as a secure MAC address? We saved the running configuration, but PC1's MAC address wasn't anywhere in the running configuration. So let's check the port security address table again. Enable show port security address. As you can see, PC1's MAC address is no longer present. Dynamically learned secure MAC addresses will not be retained when you restart the switch, even if you save the running configuration because the address isn't actually entered into the running configuration when it is dynamically learned. Step seven is to enable the sticky secure MAC address feature on switch one's F02 interface. Conf T interface F02. Now this feature is enabled with this command, switch port, port security, MAC address, sticky. That's it. Now let's ping between the PCs again to generate traffic. On PC1, ping 192.168.1.12. That's all for step seven. Step eight is to view the secure MAC addresses of switch one, then the running config. So on switch one, show port security address. There's PC1's MAC address again. This time it is listed as a secure sticky address. What's the difference? Well, let's check the running configuration. 
show run. As you can see, in addition to the three commands we manually configured on the interface, there is a fourth one which we didn't configure. Switch port, port security, MAC address sticky, followed by PC1's MAC address. This is because we enabled the sticky feature. When this feature is enabled, the switch saves dynamically learned secure MAC addresses to the running configuration of the switch. Step nine is to save the running configuration and reload again. Let's do that. Write, reload. Step 10 is to view the secure MAC addresses on switch one once again. This time, do you expect to see PC1's MAC address in the table? PC1's MAC address was saved to the running configuration of switch one, and we saved the running configuration before reloading, so it should be in the table even after restarting. Let's check. Enable, show port security address. As expected, PC1's MAC address is still saved as a secure MAC address on the F02 interface. So to review, without the sticky feature enabled, dynamically learned secure MAC addresses are not retained when the switch is reloaded. The sticky MAC address learning feature, however, automatically saves these addresses to the running configuration, and thus will be retained upon reload if the running configuration is saved. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comments section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.